Welcome back to the channel. This is Vilpi and today here I have the new Samsung Galaxy A22 5G for unboxing. This is a budget phone coming from Samsung from the A series. It's supposed to be around 220 to 300 euros depending on where you are and which uh, specification you get it. But uh, this is the 64 GB storage version coming with 4 GB of RAM and also this is the violet color. You can also get it with black, mint and uh, silver I believe. But this is the violet color. The color should be very similar to the A32 that I have unboxed previously. You can have a look at that one as well. But uh, let's have a look at what we get inside the box. So there are some paperwork, unfortunately, at this unit in this region that I am in Europe. We don't get any case inside the box. You may get it depending on your region. And we put the phone aside to see what else we have. We have a USB type C charging cable and we also have a charger inside the box so this is a samsung charger it's 15 watts it's a fast charger but i don't know how fast it is i need to test it and in the box you also get the sim ejection tools now let's have a look at the phone itself on front we have a 6.6 .6 inch tft display with 90 hertz refresh rate and a drop notch for the selfie camera there is no information about Gorilla Glass, so I think it doesn't have that protection. On the right side, we have the volume rocker and we have a power button, which also acts as the fingerprint scanner. On left, we have the SIM card slot that can be used to extend the storage of the phone. At the bottom, we have the headphone jack, a microphone, a USB Type-C and the speaker. And on top, we have another microphone. Now let's have a look at the back of the phone. So the phone is built from plastic. The frame is plastic. The back of the phone is from plastic. The back of the phone is matte. So I really like that. I really like the color. This violet color is my favorite. It's very, very similar to the A32 5G. And it's also very similar color to what we get on the iPhone. Although the frame is built from plastic and the back of the phone is not glass but in general the overall feeling and look of the device doesn't really feel cheap at all it really looks nice we have the camera here at the top it has three cameras 48 megapixel main camera five for the ultra and also the depth sensor the frame is built from plastic, but it looks and feels like metal. So in general, I think the phone really feels good. And Samsung is doing pretty good job in building phones, making phones that are budget friendly and the build quality looks and feels more than the price category. The camera bump is also very minimal, which I like. So that's a good point in the design of this phone as well. Now we are going to turn this phone on and have a look at the software to see what version we have. So uh, the display, as I said, it's 6.6 .6 inch. It's bright, the color looks nice, and we have the uh, selfie camera on top. Let's brighten this up to the maximum level so you can see how it is. I think the colors and uh, the display overall, it's very good. But please remember that this is TFT display, so in terms of viewing angle, it's different from AMOLED displays, and it's not best. The software here, we have the Android version 11 pre-installed, that's good, and we also have the One UI 3.1. This phone also comes with 5000 mAh battery, that is very good, so I think you should not have any problem for daily use of this phone. It should be quite good for most of the users. 5000 is quite a lot considering this is a full HD display. And uh, the display is supporting 90 Hertz refresh rate. And I definitely suggest to use that high motion smoothness, put it on that and don't worry about the battery. It should be okay. So this was the unboxing of this phone. I would like to hear your guys' opinion. What do you think about this phone? 
and do you think there is a competition for this phone what phone can be a better option compared to this phone in terms of price and build quality but overall i really like it i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my channel and content make sure you subscribe and support me by subscribing to my channel and if you have any questions write them down in the comments thanks for watching and until the next one